Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome to another Ray Challenge video. Guys, we are on the test server testing out Nobel this time. As Shadow King attack based legendary champion. We've got our best Savage here on this guy this time. We've been testing these champions out um, on the test server today and I've been having some fun with the new legendaries. This one is the last one I think from the legendaries that I haven't tested. I put him some of my best gear. I don't have exactly my best gear available. Like I don't have an accuracy banner for Shadow King. So I can't test this out 100%, but I still think I do have a solid team in mind to use with the Nobel. So what does this champion do, guys, uh, with the stats that I have? 5,000 attack, 200 speed, 100% crit rate, almost 200 speed, 100% crit rate, 267 critical damage, and 200 accuracy. Ideally, that will have been about 300. That would be a good amount. So um, 204. Let's go and see what he can actually do with those amount of stats. Let's see his skills. Smell, fear. This is a 140% chance of decreasing the duration of two random buffs on the target by one turn. If the target is under fear or true fear, has a 65% chance of decreasing the duration of all of the target's buffs by one turn instead. Um, it's okay, but you do need that fear or true fear. Then Harbringer attacks when enemy will ignore 30% of the target's defense. Fills this champion's turn by 25% after the attack. If the target is under fear or true fear, Decrease the cooldown of dismay skill by one turn. So this is a two turn cooldown, by the way. Uh, pretty short cooldown. So maybe a relentless set would work depending on how high this multiplier is. And then dismay, this is a three turn cooldown when it's fully booked. Tax all enemies, 100% uh, chance when it's booked of decreasing each targets, each enemy's turn turn by 20%. If there are enemies under fear or true fear, we'll also fill this champion's turn turn by the amount those enemies lose. All right. Um, so you definitely need that fear and true fear just to give him that extra terminator. But how do we get that fear or true fear? There it is, guys. Desolation. Whenever an enemy's terminator is fully depleted by any champion, has a 50% chance of placing a true fear debuff on that enemy by one turn. So this goes to 75% chance. Fantastic um, skill, but there's not so many champions in the game that can fully deplete um, that can fully deplete the terminator. So, hmm, how how can we do this? Which champions could, could go well together with this guy? I have one in mind, uh, which is not easy to get. But even so, let's see his masteries. Um, I, of course, went Hell Smasher and then the support tree. Um, Master Hexer does nothing. It doesn't extend the duration of true fear or fear. So I just had to take one. It, it was either Sniper or Master Hexer and none of them work. So... I just took one <laughs> and Helm Smasher and of course getting all the damaging masteries right here. Let's go over and test him out in the arena with the setup that I have in mind and see how that actually works. So in the arena, what you want to be doing is basically controlling the enemies. How I'm controlling them is with Warlord. Warlord has a way to actually decrease the enemy's terminator by 100%. It's not a 100% chance. Unfortunately, this is, I think... 30% uh, chance plus another 40, 50, 60% chance. So it won't happen to everybody, but it will happen to most of them. And that synergizes with, uh, and that synergizes with my uh, Nobel's skills. And also I have the new champion along with me, Lady Kimi, who also boosts the accuracy of my team. So that will also help applying those true fears. So there it is, the increased accuracy. We'll try to apply the decrease in terminators there. Did we apply it? I think we didn't apply it on any one of them. Wow, was that really? That like nobody? Okay, let's try out try out his A3 and see if we can actually do some damage with this without a defense down. Ooh, look at that. 75,000. It's okay. It's a solid amount without a defense down. Remember that, guys. Without a defense down. So let me see another setup right here. So this one. Oh, this is going to be a tanky team. Oh, and all spirits. So I can't really beat this one with a weak affinity like that one. Um, okay, this one's going to be a tanky one as well. Let's check it out. Ooh, lots of buffs there. We're going to have stuff to remove now with uh, Lady Kimi. Okay, we apply some block buffs. Let's try and see if we can reduce the terminator here and apply the truth here. Um... See, we didn't apply the truth here. I don't know if this is bugged or not, or maybe it's just the chance to apply it. I mean, it's 
75% chance. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. So let's te test out this, uh, this A3. Okay, not that much damage because of all the shields, but that's still fine. Let's do the A2 now. And we should get a, a turn now. Ooh, we had knocked out by that Cadrophone. That's fine though. So we resurrect um, Nobel. Let's see, give him some turn meter here. We're gonna get the reviver out the way. Nope. Okay, my reviver is out the way. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely a loss. But let me try out a uh, an, instead of having warlord there, which it seemed like we we couldn't really apply the truth here. So let me try this again, maybe the same team, and see if we can actually apply the truth here this time. So do the terminator boost, then uh, we buff everybody up. There's some block buffs. Let's see. Decrease the, the uh, there is a troop here. Okay, we got the, the troop here at least on one of them. Okay, so it did work, but it's just uh, a, a low chance, honestly. 50% chance plus 25, 75% chance. It's not like, <laughs> it, it, it's not like my Schultz troop here, which it's actually 150% chance to apply. I'm joking, guys, it's not 150%, but it's, it's, you, you, when you get a troop here by, um, by my Schalt, it's, you've lost all your cooldowns and all your turns. Just forget about it. <laughs> Especially enemy machals. If I ever get a machal, that won't happen with me. So uh, let's try this out and see his damage. So about a good amount of damage, but all the shields there basically don't allow him to do much. So apply the accuracy down. Can we actually do this this time? Oh, did we get a reset there? Okay, that might be that might be good for us. Uh, let's try the A two here and see some big damage here on Necrid maybe. 32,000, mm, not so big amount of damage. I mean, Necrid hit me back and basically almost killed me. Okay. Uh, the shield won't do anything here. Yeah, we get knocked out by that Cadrophone. Can Lady Kimi give us anything here? Um, even if we revive, we're probably dead again. Okay, let's Arbiter down. Mm, yeah, there it is. Uh, so, Terminator boost here. So now, instead of uh, Warlord, let's try a different champion in there. Um, Warlord does give some control there with the Terminator reduction, but... I don't think it, it definitely helps in, in what we're trying to do here. So what I want to do is probably put some Terminator reduction here. Uh, not Terminator reduction, um, shield removal here. <laughs> so actually we might even remove everything here with, with her. Uh, let's apply decrease attack. So can we get some big bursts going? Let's put this on 1x. Okay, 62,000 on that CP. CP is down. I think Duchess must have had some kind of um, uh, accessory of the new ones that made her not take so much damage. So let's try the A2 now. Get some Terminator control. Oof, big damage there. Ooh. Cadrophone smacks, definitely smacks. Got a reset on the revive there. Okay. Um. Let's try the A2 now on. Cadrophone, 63k, we take him out. 
and then should be should be oof ah knocked out just revive get some more terminator again and the increase attack and let's try it out Can this guy do anything here? A1. Look at that A1. Wow, did not expect that damage. 66k. And then he's probably going to have the A3 available, right? So he's going to have the A3 available. Um... Should I do that instead or should I do his A2, which will also ignore the defense? I'm going to do the A2 and see how much damage we can do with that. Oof. Unkillable with that one. Maybe I should have done A1 there because that would have removed the swift parry there. Hmm. Maybe that would have been a better move. Wow, such a long fight. But the Shadow King are trying to prevail here. Boom, look at that. 66k. We don't get slept there. Let's remove almost everything. Taking out TP. Finally, after three minutes. I mean, my Tranda would have knocked this team out in, in seconds, but uh, I'm trying to see where Nobel can fit in and, you know, against the end game teams. I don't really see him fitting in there. He doesn't bring in the pain, and, and his true fear um, doesn't really work that well. The, what he can provide to a team with the true fear he needs somebody to apply the true fear i, I guess i could have used my uh, yoshi instead so yoshi does bring in the true fear uh, but that's still again a 75 percent chance to apply it if the enemies have the um the increased attack this goes to 100 percent then then maybe it goes way better with nobel but um my my thoughts on nobel are i'm, I'm a bit disappointed in terms of what he can do he does okay amount of damage but with the amount of gear that i had anyone it, it's a it's a common comment i get on my videos like anyone with this kind of gear would have done that kind of damage honestly even on comments i do those videos all the time so i'm not that surprised but what he does he's a legendary you need the legendary books to get the full potential out of this guy uh, his A2 does okay damage, even with the ignore defense. I haven't tested this guy out in dungeon, so let's go and test it out, let's say, in Dragon's Lair 20, uh, when the, the defense is not extremely, extremely crazy. Let's get an increased attack going, and let's also get a uh, Gurtuk in there, just to see his full potential, and then who's what's missing. Um, so basically, Poison's down, there's the defense down, there's Gurtuk. And now let's see his A3 and how much damage it can do. It should be able to knock all these out. 150k, 177k. And this guy, uh, we didn't manage to kill. Maybe. Uh, what kind of affinity is Horden? I think he's magic. So maybe that's... No, we're strong affinity against magic. So I don't know why he didn't die. Maybe I'll, I'll see that when editing the video. Do that A2, 93k, nothing nothing too great on that with a defense down and weaken? Really? Let's see that A1, 152,000. That A1 hits more than the A2. How is that possible? How is that possible? Okay, we did have the poison, so that's an additional 20%, but how can an A1 hit so hard? Gonna do his A2 again? No, A3 150k. Yeah, that's that's better, but still it, it's not too surprising. This this composition I usually use to test out damage um from champions and, and see how strong their um their skills are, but <laughs> they aren't that strong, it seems. They aren't that strong. I wanna see a few hits on the boss by Nobel. Uh, 120k on that A2, I think, and then he should have his A1. No, that's dismay, 120k. Again, 
Uh, nothing too exciting in terms of damage. His his multiplayers are whatever. I think they should be toned a little bit higher and maybe check on, on how his true fear application works. If they had some true fear application without the chance to get resisted, then he, he would have been way better for an attack based champion. So this was the video guys. Did you like it? Do you see Nobel fitting in any of your teams? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!